Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos with the next one of lesson 8 for our newer users to Canvas Workspace and this one I'm going to be doing on the online version because I know some people, particularly newer users, find the less buttons and the less functionality a little less daunting. So we're going to head straight over to Canvas Workspace online and you can get a f your own uh, login just by going on the link to the uh, Brother Scan and Cut um, Solution Centre and then head over to Canvas Workspace. Um, now, so what I thought would be a good idea now is obviously now that we're starting to look at shapes and how they're put together is that we would bring, we would create a shape perhaps from some very, very simple shapes on our basic shape palette and this is what I'm intending to do. So I'm first of all going to bring on what I consider to be like the roof of a house and that's what we're making. So I'm going to put that on as the roof. I'm now going to bring on a square and again I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to line it up so that it's in above, sorry, just slightly below but also overlapping the roof. And I'm going to select both and I'm going to edit and just take that back to select both I've just got my cursor this black thing here is called the cursor and all I'm doing is clicking and dragging so that it, you get this like blue dotted line um, all the way around the shapes then I'm going to go on edit then I'm going to choose on a line and I want to align up the center but not the middle just so now that that square is directly in line centrally to that one again I'm going to select both and then I'm going to go on edit and weld and now we've produced our own little house now what I could do is I'm going to take that back a step and I'm just going to take a duplicate of the roof so I did that by hitting clicking on the roof and then hitting D on my keyboard because we can have that as a matting layer for on top so I'm going to say again select the two and we're going to group uh, not group, we're going to weld and that will weld the two shapes together so that gives us the facility if we wish to cut the roof out of a different colour than the base so that we could stick it on like so next we're going to make a doorway so what I'm going to do is bring on and I'm going to look for a s sort of nearly an arch but not quite and I'm going to bring that on so I've gone down into the shapes and I've chosen this one so I'm going to, with that selected I'm going to click on this box here which is the properties and I'm going to rotate it using the rotation and I'm going to do it by 90 degrees and say ok so now we've got a door but it's obviously at this stage miles too big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all shrink it down both I'm going to take it in width as well so that you can use these arrows if you go from a corner it does it proportionally and if you go from a side you can narrow it or you can make it more squat so I'm just going to get that until it's somewhere where I like it and then I'm going to try it for a size on my house next I'm going to take a duplicate in case I want to do anything with it so I'm going to with it select I'm going to get it selected by clicking on it and then I'm going to just close the properties box and I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to produce a second image if you will. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on edit, create an offset line and I want it to go outwards by about a quarter of an inch or thereabouts. So I'm going to say OK and that's what we've done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another square and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to line the square up so that it's just overlapping the very very bottom of the door and also the other one and, I, and what I'm aiming to do is cut it off so that I'm left with like a door frame so if I zoom in you can see I'm just slightly overlapped with the door I'm almost touching it and then I'm going to select both of these 
and I'm going to go on edit, edit and remove the overlap. So that was edit and process the overlap, remove the overlap. Now when I remove that, I've not gotten quite high enough, so if it, that happens and you've still got that seal there, don't worry, just do the same process again. I'm just going to go just slightly higher this time to try and get enough taken off, so I'm going to go edit, process the overlap and remove overlap. And now we can say, oops, edit, undo, okay. So we've not managed to do that. We need to make sure that this is on top. So bring it right to the front. And we're going to, first of all, let's just make sure that we're right with this. So I'm going to go edit and I'm going to subtract. Nope, wrong way. So this time I'm going to send that one to the back. So I should now be able to click on the front. Then I'm going to edit and I'm process the overlap and subtract. And now that's left us with that door. That's what we're the, the frame for the door, if you will. So this one now will still fit in there. Okay, so that's our doorway. And we've got a little bit of added dimension by ha adding that. Now I'm going to select both of these shapes and I'm going to edit and group them. Then this is how you can resize things together that belong together proportionally. Because I was just thinking that that was just a little bit too big one now that I've got the overlap round. So once I've got it to the size I think it's okay and I'm just going to try it in position and I think I'm liking that better now. So what I'm going to do now is edit and ungroup and then I can move the doorway into position. So you could cut that out of a different colour and there's your door out, you could also cut out of a different colour. So let's just flood some colour in so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you wanted a nice blue front door with a nice grey type of a sill going round, that's what you can end up with. Okay, so that's where we're up to at the moment. So next we might want some windows. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring on a basic shape and I'm looking for a square and so that will be near the top. Bring on the square and I'm going to close the properties box and I'm going to scroll down until I can find a shape that we can use for this next part. So I'm looking here and I think this could possibly work and we're just going to try maybe it's a little bit, I think maybe it's just a little bit too fat that one. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to bring on another square and I'm going to shrink it down so it's a nice and narrow piece like so. And the dimensions are down to you. You don't have to do it exactly the same as me. Once you've done that, hit D on your keyboard, go to properties and then we're going to rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to line them up both at the centre and vertically. So now that's an exact in the middle and I'm going to weld them together. Next, I'm going to come to my square, I'm going to edit, create an offset and I'll just do that again. Edit, so whilst the square is selected, go on edit, create an offset which is this one. Again, I want to come out by about a quarter of an inch because we can always shrink it down afterwards and we will be shrinking it down afterwards. I'm going to go just a little bit more because and apart from that, I've gone outwards rather than inwards. So repeating that, we're going to edit, create an offset. We want it to be inwards and I want it to be, I'm going to go by about 0 .f 0 0.36 and we'll see what that looks like. That's more like it. Now, what I'm aiming for is to get this in the middle shortly, but what we need to do first of all is select both of these and then we're going to go on edit, process the overlap and subtract. What we've now made is the effectively is a frame. So if I put some colour in that, you can see that that's now got holes. I'm going to bring this into position and at the moment it's just a little bit too big so I'm just going to use a corner so that it shrinks it down proportionally. I'm going to right click and bring it to the front so I can see where it is and I can see that now that's going to fit within the realms of my frame 
without touching the edges and if I select both and click on edit, central and vertically align to the centre and then select both shapes and weld. That gives us the sort of childlike window with the four panes that we can now shrink down for our home. I'm going to colour them grey but I'm going to choose a slightly darker grey so they show up and I'm going to move them into position. I'm going to duplicate by pressing D and I'm going to move it into position. Now, so obviously these would be cut separately and you can position them on your drawing wherever. I'm going to hit D again and this time I'm going to make them a little bit narrower so that they can fit next to the door. I'm going to then click on the one that we've just resized, duplicate that one and bring it to this side. Now you could make yourself some little fancy flowers or punch some out for some window boxes and we could just use a greeting that says in your new home, we could stamp that or we could create our own custom greeting. I'll be covering how to do that in a future um, tutorial, creating custom detail and greetings. So obviously that's now how we've used and built together some very, very basic shapes and come up with a house. One last thing you might want to do, particularly on the roof, is possibly possibly the, the house itself, is give it a four stitch line to give it a little bit more definition. So in order to do that, we're going to select the house, the main part. We're going to go on edit, process the overlap and, se so, and select the offset line. We want it to come inwards but we want it quite narrow so we're going to go 0 0.08 inches and say OK. Now you'll see that's put a line on the inner side all the way around so we need to click off, click on, oops I've just moved that by accident, if that happens just click undo, then add, we're going to click on the properties box, we're going to make it a drawing line and we're going to make it a stitched line, so this one. So now you can see that you've got that four stitch detail around your house. So I'm going to select both of the, the house and the line and we're just going to group them. I'm then going to send that layer to the back because that would be the first layer of our house. Then you would layer on your door first, then put your lintel over the top. Next, just to repeat that step for the four stitching, you can add that by clicking the shape that you want it on so that it's selected with the blue lines, dotted lines. Go on edit, process, uh, sorry, edit and create the offset which is this one. And we just want to go inwards and I'm going to go small, say OK. That as you can see has put an inward offset in and again we click off, click on, so that we've got the middle line selected. Then we go on properties, make it a drawing line and a dashed line down here. Then we're just going to group those temporarily by selecting both and going edit and group. We're going to close down the properties box and fit it into place. Now you may choose to make your house a colour if it's if you wanted it to be um, you can pick anything you want on screen but remember the colour that you decide to cut your pieces out of would be the colour of your home. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and you now feel more comfortable with the onboard shapes and you'll find that there are lots and lots of things that you can actually create just using the basic shapes that are also already available for you on your scan and cut. That's it for now. If you have watched this video and enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Keep watching and remind your friends where to find me. Thanks.